And basically we're going to get this guy here. So if um, we won the last stage, then we can do all this sort of stuff. Otherwise, we're going to go straight to that lose loser screen. And we need to update in stage. We want to say one last stage needs to be set to false. And that needs to be set inside of update set for in stage. So we'll set this thing to the false. Where do we reset stage data? I mean, it should just be right in here. So what we should be saying here is the um, one last stage should be set to false here. Update set in stage. Set in pre-stage has reset stage data, game state changed. All right, reset stage data should be set. All right, so this should work. Sorry to destroy the balls. Okay, so we need update in stage. All right, we need to actually set the so a few things. Well, we need to set the end time for this stage. Um Is that in the player states? Let's see where it is. Like we have mission end time, mission stats, mission start time. We do not have the stage stats for like stage start time and stage end time. Um, So we have stats, mission start time, 
And then we've got level start time on gameplay stats. Do we do we do not have the level end time? Which we need to set. So Okay, so what I'm going to need to do is set the end time for the stage inside of the player state. So it's going to be on like on victory or defeat or whatever for this thing, right? So. What is this gameplay stats? Level end time is this. Uh, we'll do that for all these guys. So we need to get the player state and we need a report on victory. All right, so this is what we're going to need inside of update in stage. This is going to be on defeat.
All right, so we'll actually get the level start and the level end time and all that stuff will be set and ready to go for us. All right, so that's good. Uh, so let's go change this guy over here. Let's go ahead and remove the win condition and uh, loss condition because it doesn't really matter. And let's make sure we can win. One goal, was it? One goal then. All right, so retry mission. Free stage, start. All right, we should on set pre-mission, we need to reset our player positions. Client reset player spawn. Reliable multicast, so net on player, on reset player, sorry. Let's see, pre. It's not pre mission, it's just going to be in stage. So we should be able to win this one then. Retry. Load the mission. Start it up. Continue. Retry. All right, so we're at the point where are we actually winning the missions? Resetting, unregistering event, back clicked. I wasn't paying attention. Let's make sure we're actually winning the mission. Stage is over, victory. Server set post stage. We are creating stage, post stage screen. Continue. Uh, on continue mission, user has one mission. Server set post mission.
All right, so let's set that post stage screen. First stage post mission, create the post mission screen, return. Yeah, as I thought, we're missing a call here, which is check game state. Just I suck at my own game. All right, continue retry. All right, so let's do these check game states on all these. So like pre-stage screen on enter. Mission loading screen. We have this enable virtual cursor. So let's see if we get that flash. Yeah, there we go, pre-stage. All right, let's see if we can lose. Let's make sure we lose properly. Um, and we don't actually lose in this one.
three, four, five. It's also waiting on that screen to make sure that the clocks are set properly. Post stage, mission is over, defeat. Continue. On mission, continue. User has lost mission. Server set post mission. All right, so back here should actually take us to the pre mission screen. So what we want to do is we should have an event for this, right? I guess it's end current mission. Go to main menu. It's like go to the pre mission. Yeah, kind of. I guess it's not go to main menu. It's go to set for pre-mission. All right, so what are the other things in our screens that we need to hook up? So the back button here doesn't do jack shit. Um, all right, so let's go to that pre-mission screen. Oh, it's right here. This one should actually go back to the main menu. Let's make a new event for that. Let's make a go back to main menu event. Go to main menu. That seems like a good plan. Alright, let's go check the forums and make sure that there's no ridiculousness going on. Blah, 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 blah. That oh, looks fine. I know, 40 seconds to score a goal.
I know. No, why? Why am I being thwarted? There we are. At zero seconds, too. All right. Just in time. Man, yeah, that kick, that kick pop-up is unexpectedly good at what it does. Yeah, and you can do it while maintaining your forward momentum, which means you're getting the hell out of the way of other people that are punching you in the back. So good. Man, it is Friday the 13th. What am I going to do? Hide the gin because Adam will drink all of it. I don't, that's the true Friday the 13th horror movie. Ah, screwed up. I'm off. I'm off. There we go. Getting better at it, but I'm not very good yet. Because what I need is, like, uh, to be able to do it at speed. So, like, pop that up and take it in. At maximum velocity. That's tough to do because you don't see high enough to really slot it in there. Getting better at it very slowly. <laughs> I get some of my multiplayer habits where I jump over the ball because I just know somebody's gonna punch me in the fucking bag. Yeah, it's so good. It's so good. All right, let's boot up that editor. All right, so go to main menu. 
Then I'll have in current mission. So post mission on back clicked. Um, so I'll have in current mission. I'll take you to the the pre mission thing, and that's fine. So post stage, back click will take you to in current mission. Pre-stage screen, back clicked, take you to in current mission. Mission loading screen, there is no back clicked. Um, I'm just gonna remove the on back clicked. Actually, no. Do a request close, but let's actually do this sort of thing. Start hiding some of these debug buttons. So post stage. All right, let's just get it rolling along. So pre-stage screen. Post-stage cutscene in stage button in stage click. Is this pre-stage? We don't have a start button. There's the start button. All right, mission loading screen. Pre-mission screen. Pre-mission has got a back click and a start button. What's our back click say? Go to main menu.
All right, so what we're going to do is let's just make sure that our pages aren't fucked up. It's like no compile errors. Start mission. Okay, that didn't work. So what do we hit? We hit start mission and things exploded, mission loading screen. Yeah, these guys are messed up. Mission loading, pre-stage screen, post-stage screen, post-mission screen. I think that'll work. Start mission. Pre stage back. Pre mission. Start mission. Start. Post stage, uh, we lost retry mission, quit mission, quit mission, pre mission, start mission, start. At last, all right, retry mission, pre-stage, start. Continue, post-mission, retry mission, back to pre-mission, back again. Right, because back is not implemented. Not on that one, at least. We have to actually hook up that new event. Oh, we got end current mission. Go to main menu. <laughs> Alright, I thought I was doing something, but I didn't need to do anything.
So if we go to the main menu, what happens? We're in nowhere land looking at nothing. If we click start mission, nothing's going to happen. What this is supposed to do is go to the thing, so what we're going to want with this arena level is we actually need the arena level to be inside of the UI level. So let's go ahead and add it, because we need it. So this is going to be is UI level. Alright, I guess I do server set UI level. And we'll need an update. And we're going to do nothing in there. So what we actually need to do here is we need to add another e enum for our game state. And it needs to be UI level. You should just say, call it UI, yeah. All right.
Let's just check it all out and start doing it. This is a big ball, triple jumps. Let's just keep slotting in goals, getting those points while we're waiting for that compile to finish. Nice. Very good. <laughs> was this article on Ars Technica? Apple recently sent a lengthy memo warning employees about leaking. As could be expected, the memo was leaked to the press. That uh, uh, seems just what? Hey guys, stop! Stop leaking stuff to the. Uh, what are you doing in the back, Bob? What are you doing? You better get off that fucking phone. I know what. You, ah, Jesus! It's already on Periscope, isn't it? Fucking fire, Bob. Get out of here. That's how it is. That's how it is. It's a rough world out there. I have secret information, and I, I can't tell anybody. Yeah, yeah, welcome to the club. There we are. And yeah, I added an enum, so I gotta wait for that header to compile, which is not incredibly quick.
Look for next map, but it was taking me to the wrong thing. waiting around for compiles. I remember what I was trying to do here was I think it was the farther out the farther out thing because like if you're right here it makes sense to just pop it up slot it in but if you're out here and you do this, I'm trying to, yeah, let's get this started. So we need to set the UI thing, and the game mode should do jack nothing. All right. Hello, Chris Kobe Two. I'm working on mission stuff all over the place. Right now, just getting a flow for. For things. All right, so this thing is set UI. Should, should set it right there. And the level update for UI is doing nothing. And our update event. Is proper music yeah we're not gonna do anything yeah get get out of here trash right. so we need to update UI we need to slot that in there all the way down here So yeah, working on this big mission system thing, which is just a monster. It's just so much to do with it. This will pop up. So if we hit back. Failed none is not a standard Unreal file name or long reason you should start what? Starting to leave map. Why is this pissed? Hmm. 
So what I want to do is, it's in this arena level basically on this server initialize match. Yeah, this is the problem here. It's supposed to do server set UI. Okay, so it does that. That'll kick our UI out to the right spot, but our Level utils here for go to main menu. And I'll change the go to main menu. Should return a bool for if we already were on the main menu. All right, that should be good. Yeah, the mission stuff is just kind of, there's a lot of it. There's a lot of work. There's a lot of screens because it's got tons of shit in it. So, kind of just. There's a lot of work to do for it. So I'm just dicking around while waiting for that compile. <laughs> 